Hi guys, Dr. Gillard here. Let's show you how to examine the lymph nodes. Let's have you look straight like that. Okay, I'm going to do it from the back side first. So let's, I'll go in the order that they want you to go in. So you're going to do preauricular here. There's the tragus of the ear. Preauriculars. I'm just swirling around looking for them. Then I'm going to go postauricular. Postauriculars are back here. Okay, now I would go around to the front of her, but uh, rather than do that, so I don't block the camera, you can go superior nuchal lines. I'm just going up and down and kind of searching around for them, like giving her a little massage here. Okay, now you're going to come back to the tonsillar node, so that's right at the angle of here of the mandible. Now this is the one where it's nice to go back and forth and you can use you can use one finger if you want or you can use two if you want. I'm going to use one for right now. And we're searching for nodes. Okay, you can go on top of the parotid gland. Cetal has uh, that listed as well. Notice now this is a good place to do my little walking. See how my fingers are walking looking for a node. Okay, don't feel anything. Now the submandibulars are right under here. Okay, don't feel anything, that's great. And then the submental is right under the chin here. You can support their head if you, to give you a little traction. I'm pushing in there, looking, you can do a little walking in there. Okay, so that was the examination of the head. Now let's do examination of the neck. So the SCM here is the star of the show. Uh, so we're going to, for the superficial nodes, they're on top of the SCM. So I'm just going to walk my little fingers down. It's just the top part. Okay. Um, I can also do some swirling just to make sure. Great. Now for whatever reason, they want you to jump to the, the posterior traps back here. Uh, so these are the posterior cervical chain. Okay, don't feel anything. Then they want you to come back to the SCM and go for the deep cervical. I like to kind of milk these, kind of pinch, roll back and forth, because these are underneath the SCM. Uh, you want to go between the, ster the sternal and the cl clavicle head, the clavicular head. Check in there to make sure. And you can actually go forward as well to check in front. Uh, remember, this is the distal half, or the inferior half of the SCM is where the deep ones live. And last but not least, we're going to go in the supraclavicular fossa, uh, looking for supraclavicular nodes. These are the dangerous ones, right? If the left one is positive, that's a Trousier sign. It indicates metastatic disease, probably, from the stomach. Esophageal cancer will do the right, make the right one supraclavicular positive. All right, so she feels really good. Awesome. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, let's just do it from another angle. Um, so we'll go right from order. So we start with the preauricular nodes right here, kind of swirling around in the front. The walking part, I mean, you can do that if you want, but there's so much, there's not a lot of meat there, so there's nothing really to sink your fingers into. Those feel good. Postauricular nodes are right back here behind the, behind the ears. Postauricular nodes. Then you're going to go to suboccipital nodes. Just go, I'm swirling around the nuchal lines, superior and inferior nuchal lines. I'm just swirling. There's no need to walk your fingers there. Because you're right, there's not much, there's not much subcutaneous tissue there. Now we're coming back here to go to the tonsillar node, uh, which if one's going to be swollen, this is, has quite a bit of drainage from the throat and mouth here. Uh, so I'm just pushing in here. Notice I'm do I'm showing you one side, but I'm doing this bilaterally on each side. Feels good. I could even do my little walking in here if I wanted. Okay, tonsillar's good. Now we're going to go to the submandibular gland or the uh, submandibular nodes, to right here. She feels great. Don't feel anything. And then last but not least, the submental would be right here underneath the chin. You can support the head. All right, so that was the head examination. Now let's go to the neck examination. That starts with the superficial 
cervical nodes. So there's the SCM. Uh, this is the superior part of the SCM. Just going to swirl around, checking the SCM muscle. If you want to walk on this, that's fine as well. Okay, then for whatever reason, they want you to go back uh, to where the traps are. So here's the trapezius upper fibers. Uh, it's anterior most border. You want to swirl around in here, looking for nodes. You can walk in here if you want to. Say hi, I'm walking. Okay, great. Then you go back to the deep cervical chain. There, that's the inferior part of your SCM. So all from here to here. These are deep, so it's best to kind of grab them and kind of kind of squeeze them a little bit, like you're massaging the SCM muscle. See if you can feel anything. You can do some walking, but they're they're very deep. They're way in there, but you can do that if you want. Don't forget to check anterior to that. There's a set in there. And then between the clavicular and the sternal heads, check in there because there's a set of them in there as well. And last but not least, here's the clavicle. So we're going to walk in the clavicle, the supraclavicular fossa. Um, these are for the sentinel nodes on this side. We'll call them the supraclavicular uh, nodes, respectively, if you want to talk about them both. So walking works good. You can swirl in there as well. Okay, great. So I didn't feel anything. So thanks for watching.